So as you guys can see here, I went out to my garage to do this. I'm gonna be hopping back and forth. It's kind of hard to do this, uh, just one person. I don't really have like a set place to do this stuff in. But as you can see here, I got the 12 volt supply mounted. I didn't have to move this around. I was able to get this in position. So everything's good. If you look at it from overhead, you can't see any of the cabling. I took two small tie wraps here and here, and I tie wrapped the phone one. I measured it out beforehand with the uh, arm to make sure it was gonna fit. And then on the back side of this, I'll show you guys how I did it. So right here, like I said, the two tie wraps, tie wrapped it here along that, then tie wrapped this one right behind the, sorry, the mounting base for the aux port, or aux beam, I mean. And if you look, like I said, above, there's no cables, so everything will tuck right in here and go down with the WeBoost cable, it's in the front. All right, so this is all gonna be handheld here, guys. So as you can see, I snaked up the black and white. It's gonna be the accessory power for the 12 volt port. The aux beam cable had just enough length on it to come up here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see in here. I kind of notched that out a while back. So I'm gonna use that hole there for that little notch to get these cables up there. And this shouldn't take that much longer. And again, I'm gonna grab accessory power from down there, probably where I use for my lights, because I don't think it will draw much amperage for that. Worst case, if something blows, I can remove this um, and try to find power on the back side of that. Find out what wires have the supply and ground and et cetera. But for now, I think I have this hammered down. I'll try to record this process or not, it all depends. I mean, you guys don't need to see how I'm doing this, just maybe how I got this up here. Like I said, I just used this jacket or sheath from uh, another cable that was kind of stiff and I snaked it down in there. I turned a light on. Um, I don't know where that light is now. Here it is, I'll show you guys. So I just kind of turned this on and I don't know if people will see down there, maybe. But yeah, like I used that to figure out where I could actually snake that down. And that wasn't too bad. And also, white electrical tape. If you don't know, you don't know. And I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Because when you're pulling cables, you definitely want to use white. Because there's nothing worse than getting that black gunk shit all over your fingers. And it's going to mark up the cable and stuff. And if it's labeled, then you won't be able to see the labels. But that's just me being anal. So yeah, I'll try to get this recorded for you guys uh, so you can see how this is done. All right, so as you guys can see, that is now lit up. I got the 12 volts for that. Uh, once I plug it in and start charging a phone, I'll be able to tell if it's gonna blow the fuse or not. Like I said, I don't think it will. The amperage draw from charging a phone is relatively low. And the accessory cable that I grabbed for these lights down there uh, pretty sure this, the amperage isn't even anywhere near the fuse limit. So right here, I just um, crimped on little heat shrink connectors uh, to accept the spade connector from bullet point that's on this, the way it comes. My aux beam is plugged back in, and as you can see, oh, it works. So now I just got to button this bag up, tuck all these wires in, I'll show you guys the finished product here. And that's not the light, that's my work light. The lights that I installed are like that bright. I've had them now for like three years. I'll show you guys that in a second, but yeah. So here we are, just gonna button everything back up, tuck all these wires in and pray to God that everything's good. So as you guys can see, I got it installed, everything works. I have that uh, wireless charger plugged in there, the MagSafe charger or whatever you wanna call it. I angled the aux beam slightly towards me. It's mounted a little bit just above the Wii Boost. I'm not sure if there'll be any kind of interference with that. I'll find out shortly when my lights start randomly strobing when I turn it on. Just kidding. And then uh, this works as far as I know so far. So there you go. It still works. Everything works and nothing's broken and everything's good. Without the lights on, it looks pretty good. I have that orange pretty close to the factory color. 
Uh, and then the little, I might just take that cover off up there because uh, who knows? So yeah, here it is again, there's a close up of everything. There's the wireless charger right there. That's the 12 volts for that, it feeds into this. I still have to clean this cable up and figure out what I wanna do with it. But other than that, everything is good. Everything's done, everything is clean, and everything works. So I would call it a success. It didn't take me too long, it probably took me about an hour, give or take. Um, I obviously didn't film a lot of it, it would make this a lot harder because it's raining out and the whole time I had my door open, so that was great. But yeah, that's it. And my wife just got home from work, so now I finished just in time. <laughs>